वो जो आप बिल्कुल टॉप पे देख रहे हैं ना रॉक्स जो हैं वो सबसे जो हैं यंगेस्ट रॉक्स हैं क्योंकि वो सबसे एंड में डिपॉजिट होए थे ये सारा का सारा जो था ना ये सेडिमेंट्री डिपॉजिट्स से और ये जो है ना रिवर्स ने काफ किया है और आप देख रहे हैं कि कैसा क्या लग रहा है यार ये रिवर्स ने कितना काफ किया है चेक करो इट्स क्रेजी सीजन रहा America, the land of opportunity for corporations, built on the backs of slaves and countless genocides around the globe. This country is none like any other. Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate, but for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my 8 years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips, and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back with more than a month on the road. An experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Carnival Doge boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on earth. from bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks from alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts our kanabadosh kafla and tag along for a journey of a lifetime the great american road trip Coast to coast US road trip. It's day two, and we've just left Lake Tahoe. Our next destination is the Grand Canyon, and today we're going to be answering the question: Is the Grand Canyon really worth putting on your bucket list? Is it worth spending all that money on gas or flights just to go see a big hole in the ground? But before we get to that, we have a 12-hour journey ahead of us without stops. So, including food and rest stops, it's about to be a long drive. We are. On our way to the Grand Canyon, well, we saw this uh, really cool beach on the way, Tamarack Beach. Our first stop here is at Tamarack Beach. It's a two-hour drive from South Lake Tahoe. There are no facilities here, and it's a free, dispersed camping area. And it was here in the middle of buttfuck nowhere where we encountered the most American sign ever. इसे पानी में सोच रहे थे थोड़ा सा आगे जाए लेकिन हमने फिर ये पढ़ा वहाँ पे. <laughs> no one here as far as the eye could see, just us and the FJ. And let me just say, this car deserves appreciation. It's one of the finest vehicles Toyota has ever built. A true feat of engineering. Honestly, it doesn't even matter that it's shaped like a brick, and it fails to grasp the concept of miles per gallon. This is one of the most fun and reliable 4x4s I've ever been in. We've had a bit of water, rested for a bit. We are about eight hours away, and I think if we stop along the way for a few hours, uh, we're going to get there really late at night. Moving on, our path will take us just beside one of the most inhospitable places on Earth, Death Valley. Thankfully, the sun is setting as we cross it, so we don't have to deal with the heat. Crossing Death Valley, the first real signs of civilization apart from the highway will be Las Vegas lighting up the desert sky at night. Vegas is in our way, but we've already been to Vegas plenty of times. This trip is all about the things we haven't seen yet. So we'll have a quick stop here for food, pass through the strip, and continue onwards towards Arizona. Vegas sponge game. We'll be in and out, Kaya. Time near Zara. We're just gonna pass through the Vegas Strip and get on our way to the Grand Canyon. I wish we had more time here, but we don't. So. Here, 
जी चीमा जी कैसा लग रहा है आपको वेगस मतलब रोक तो नहीं सकते हम यहाँ पे लेके कैसा लग रहा है खूबसूरत तरीन है इट्स अ रिलेटिवली शॉर्ट ड्राइव क्रॉसिंग द स्टेट लाइन फ्रॉम नवादा टू एरिजोना एंड फाइनली विल हैव अनदर लॉन्ग स्ट्रेच हेडिंग ईस्ट pushing deeper into Arizona state to get to our hotel. चीमा जी किधर पहुंचे हैं ग्रैंड कैनियन ग्रैंड कैनियन नहीं है विलियम्स है विलियम्स एरिजोना ग्रैंड कैनियन के पास Well, we're about to check in at almost 1 a.m. The car is already on. The car is already on. The car is already on. I need to sort this out first. So it's a bit easier to deal with. It's uh, 10 a.m. now. We've just checked out from the hotel. We were supposed to be at the Grand Canyon at, I believe, 9 a.m. or something. But I'm busy. Log out. But at the time, there was nothing else. So let's see. Hopefully, we can get there and uh, find some space because I don't know it's going to be mad crowded. It's going to be so hot. So. Grand Canyon National Park is bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. Pictures and videos just don't do this place justice. Until now, we'd only seen it on Instagram, so nothing could have prepared us for what we were about to witness. Jima ji, kya maza aa gaya? Aa gaya. Inshallah taala agle एक दो साल के अंदर अंदर हम यहाँ से निकल जाएंगे ठीक है जी इंशाल्लाह। आखिरकार टाइम आ गए है ग्रैंड कैनियन वी थॉट इट इज जस्ट बी ए बिग कैनियन something to just look at for a moment and move on but big just isn't a big enough word to describe it oh hey ruk 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 kya kar rahe hai yaar bhatte pe chada rahe hai ke piche kar bas theek hai ruk na acha humne wo samne jaana story of the grand canyon formation is much deeper than 6 million years what the fuck what what did they mean by deeper <laughs> should they be like oh what the hell so yeah You can see in the canyon's walls. I'll try to show you guys that in a sec. Oh, that's that's the point. Okay, the shallow seas and changing rivers deposited the sediments over nearly two billion years, which is fucking insane. And the Colorado River and its uh, tributaries are there. I'm guessing they carved it all the way down. So the interesting thing about this is that the younger rocks are at the youngest rocks are at the top. And the oldest ones are going to be up at bottom because they, those are the ones that were deposited first. I'm going to show you guys that, but I don't have a camera, so I can't really focus there. But I'll, start, I'll see what I can show you. Guys. The sheer enormity of this place is truly fascinating. It's even more incredible when you know the geological processes that led to its formation. The Grand Canyon is a product of tectonic uplift. It's been carved over millions of years as the Colorado River cuts down through the Colorado Plateau. The uplift of the Colorado Plateau was a key step in the eventual formation of the Grand Canyon. The action of the plate tectonics lifted the rocks high and flat, creating a plateau through which the Colorado River could cut down. What's so even more interesting is that no one is completely sure about the age of the Grand Canyon. It was long believed that the Colorado River started carving out the canyon 6 million years ago. 
but recent studies have shown this process may have actually started 70 million years ago. It's crazy. Seems unreal. The vastness of it isn't something easily shown to viewers. It's something that you really just have to experience yourself. If we'd known about this before planning the trip, we would have definitely taken out more time to explore the different regions here. There are countless hikes that are definitely worth your time. It's so massive that there are different climate zones at any given moment in different areas of the canyon. The Grand Canyon is on average 4,000 feet deep for its entire 277 miles. It is 6,000 feet deep at its deepest point and 18 miles wide at its widest. The canyon is full of hidden caves. There are an estimated 1,000 caves within the canyon, but only 335 have been recorded and only one cave is open to the public. This place reminds me of that episode in Avatar where the two warring tribes have to share a guide to go through the canyon. People of culture know what I'm talking about. But unlike Atla, the most dangerous animal in the canyon isn't a canyon crawler, it's actually a rock squirrel. There are definitely venomous snakes and much larger animals, but the ones that send the most tourists to the emergency room are the tiny rock squirrels. People try and feed or pet the squirrels and well, they find out the hard way that those tiny little buggers can pack quite a punch with their chompers. Oh, that's adorable. So, down to the big question. Is the Grand Canyon worthy of being put on your bucket list? Oh yes, but I definitely recommend making arrangements earlier and trying to take a tour of the canyon. We misjudged it and only planned to check out the view from the visitor centers. I mean, that was still pretty worth it. If you're on a long road trip with limited days, then the visitor centers are good enough. The problem with trying to spend multiple days exploring places while going across the entire US is that you spend thousands and thousands of dollars and one month isn't nearly enough time. So if money and time aren't an issue, extend your stay here and explore the canyon. But if you're on a budget, the visitor centers will do just fine. You can literally spend your whole life just driving from state to state, exploring incredible places, and you still wouldn't even be close to experiencing the majesty of it all. But if you do what we did, and pick one or two destinations that best represent those states, and you make a road trip out of it, then you really get to experience what that state is all about and you get to experience so many diverse landscapes and ecosystems in one trip. And as far as Arizona is concerned, the Grand Canyon definitely represents this thing. I knew it was going to be massive, but I had no idea that it was going to be that big. It was honestly just awestruck. It's fucking huge. Um, I think we're done here. Wish we had a bit longer to do a short hike or something, but We've got to head out to, where? Yeah, Dallas. We're heading out to Dallas now. And we still need to have breakfast. It's, I think, around 2 p.m. now and we haven't had breakfast, so, yeah. Next on the agenda, we got some food in the belly. You know, it's a good place to go. If you drive a dog, you take a dog, you take a dog. ਪਰ <laughs> 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 Wait, you live there, wait. Take it, they live. Charlie's dollar is so. Now, which is a sorry overpriced thing. Lena goes for it. Take 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 it. Nikle, where? Nikle, Nikle. 
Uh, since we lived in Oregon, our plan for this trip was to drive east through the southern states and west through the northern ones on the way back. Unfortunately, that also means that we have to drive to Texas, and that is the most dreadful journey of our entire coast-to-coast -coast road trip. In the next video, you'll find out exactly why that's the case.